Hello, so this is a tutorial for meshes in Laidout. There are actually two mesh tools, the Caller tool and an Image tool. The controls are basically the same. So to, when you start with a fresh mesh, you click down and it gives you the standard default one. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just click and control, or click and drag various controls. Uh, these corners are, are points that are actually in the mesh, and these other points are, are just controls that show how uh, the mesh is structured. There's different uh, rendering modes. Uh, one is to render to sort of a preview images, preview image which is really slow, or you can sort of recurse. Uh, it's much faster to render this sort of thing. So if you have a super complicated one, uh, it goes much faster. Uh, there's also the grid view, so that really shows how the grid is structured. So when you move control points, it's really obvious how it is with sometimes the colors sort of wash all together and it's difficult to see uh, what's going on inside it. And it's more apparent with images, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, so with all these points, uh, let's move these so it's sort of back to normal. Uh, so when you're hovering over an edge, you can expand a mesh or when you just click with no shift or control or anything, you can move the whole edge. But if you press shift and move it, then you can expand your mesh. If you want to, if you don't like what you've just done, then you can press control and then hover over those edges and it'll remove those things. Then you're back to that. Or if you want to subdivide, if you hold down shift and control, you can place that anywhere inside and then just click down and you can add new mesh segments. Uh, Meshes in Laidout have 16 points per e mesh unit. So these interior points are the inner four, and then there's basically four along the outer edges. Uh, in many other programs, uh, you might not see all of those. You might see just the interior ones. You can toggle between which controls are available for you to manipulate this way, uh, and any any other ones are are interpolated for you. So for instance, in Scribus and soon to be in Inkscape, you'll have this version, which is only 12 per 12 control points per mesh unit. Uh, you can also uh, manipulate only the extreme outer points and none of the interior points, and everything else is interpolated automatically for you, or rectangular, or rectangular-ish, uh, with only the corner points. In the grid view, it's pretty obvious what sort of grid that is. You'll notice that it is not a perspective mesh. Uh, the divisions along each edge are evenly spaced, whereas that would not be the case in a perspective grid. Uh, in any case, let's go back to the full editing version and get some of these down. Uh, so I guess that's the color tool, and then the, the image tool is very similar. Uh, so if you have all these you have all these same points, when you double click, you can insert an image. So if I go and, and let's put that image in it, if you press Z, it'll zap down to its natural aspect ratio. Now you can select the control points as before. And with an image, it's really obvious what's actually being warped when you move around interior control points, for instance. Uh, that's pretty much it for meshes at the moment. Thank you for watching.